Blue! Ah, uh, would you look at that? He's asleep in his chair again. Well, he actually looks kind of peaceful. <laughs> oh, my gush. Ah, must be having quite the dream. Lou! 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 Ah! You scared me there, Lou! Hillary! It's me, James. What do you want? We're out of food, Lou. What do you want me to do about it? Well, you got a job now, so... I got fired. Law Marais doesn't approve of smoking on the premises. It was just vape juice. You got caught doing that again? Hey, man. I don't have a problem. They have a problem with my problem. You both got a problem. Well, now we got another problem. There's no food in the fridge. Yellen! Yellen! What are you doing, Alan? Well, I'm just resting a little bit. You know we're opening again in five teen minutes. We gotta get this place cleaned up. Get those boxes, get them out of here. Yes, sir. We gotta be speak and span, speak and span. That ad we did, that uh, card flipping thing that you youngsters do, that brought in lots of customers. Working hard all the time. Wish I could just go outside. My manager is always writing me. Now I work hard, but he never sees. I'm so bored in my room. Wish I had something to do. My grandpa's always yelling at me. James! Tell him me to stop that babe. This job will be the end of me. I'll be here for eternity. It's Alan from Trigan. I've got nothing else to do. Man, I'm hungry for some food. Oh, shucks, I probably won't make James! it. It's Alan from Trigan. Oh, shucks. James! It's Alan from Trigan. You know my hip's no good. Yeah, Ooh. that's not the only thing that's no good. What? Organize this fruit and get your register open. We're opening in four minutes, Alan. Yes, sir. And don't mind my lip. Whoa, man. You guys are, got all kinds of stuff in here. Hello. Hey, welcome. you work here? Yeah. Cool. Ain't no customers in here. Oh, hello, hello, come on in, hello. Hey, who are you? I'm Zorloff, I'm the manager here, who are you? I'm Lou. You don't look like a Lou. You look more like a Marty. This place, like, it's so quaint and small, and it's not like, it's not like Walmart where it's all big, and it's all kind of, they have, like, you know, all that stuff, like they got mattresses, and then they got like, you know, the pools and cars and stuff, and, in their store, you guys just got like, uh, like kitchen utensils, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Marty? Yeah, Marty! That's my cousin. Lives down on Brooklyn Lane? No. Well, what do you want, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to get some, uh, food. You guys hiring? Are you sure? Yeah, man, I'm... Are you sure? Listen, man, if you had to deal with my grandpa all day, like, I need uh, like... You came to a Dragon for nourishment? Well, yeah. Where else am I supposed to go? Ain't nothing in this town. Oh, they, they got that new Walmart right down the road. Yeah. So? It sucks. I know, right? They got nothing there. Yeah, all they got big pools and cars and stuff. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Tell you about this economy, huh? What about it? Pretty good from my standpoint. Oh, you like it? I like it when I make money. I'm making money right now. Dang right. Because you're in my store. Dang right. Why don't you buy something? I'm going to. Well, do it. All right. All righty then. You look a lot like my, my, my useless son, Alan. Alan! Yeah! 
must be out back. Yeah, you remind me of my grandson, James. James! 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 Where'd that boy go? I will. I have the youth these days. Yeah. You can't, can't get no good help. Alan! Alan! Must be on lunch break. Yeah. Why don't you sit down? We'll have a seat. We'll talk. See what we can do for your nourishment. I, I think we could totally mesh well with, you know, cool dudes like you and your manager, this Trey Gitt, and I think it totally worked. Definitely, man. Definitely. All right, so what do you need here? I need some food. What, what kind of food you like? See, we, here at Trey, we don't sell just any kind of food. Hold on. First, we got some some cheese and stuff. And then we got these yakasoba things, but that, that's about all. And there's also a lighter here. It doesn't work. So do you want this kind of food? Like, we only sell orange stuff. Because of Trigget. Why, ain't you got no sandwiches or something? I got orange sandwiches. What in the world is that? Ah. I got your sandwiches right here. What in the world? Orange sandwiches just for you. $43.50. Well, two for one deal. This is a water flavor and packet. If you're not grateful for what I give you, you can take your business somewhere else. Well, I think I might. Well, all right. But since you came, here's a complimentary water fuller. Back coolant device. A what now? You stick it on your back. Heals your back up real nice. Oh yeah, I need one of these. It looks yeah, like you yeah. do. All right then, get on out. Wait, what'd you say this was? Sandwiches. Yeah, I think I'll take one of these. Oh, what the? 43 50. Two for one, dude. Well, that's outrageous. You get two for one. Those could be like... Almost knocked over my face. Oh, that's, that's nasty looking. I got it at a yard sale, but... For you, six to two fifty four, we'll throw in some of these. Well, that sounds like a mighty fine deal. Definitely down here is at Traget. We have the mighty finest deals. That's what I like to hear. That's good. Go over there to Alan. He'll ring you up. Oh man, look at you! What in the world? Look man, I got hired on at Traget. Or is it Target? I always forget the name. Maybe it's for Garrett, I don't know. Who hired you? Alan did. But Al... But... Manager... Come on man, let me ring you up here. I'll just move this out of the way. Magazines. I'm gonna take those home for later. All right, well, let's we'll see how good your customer service is then, James. Yeah, man. Oh, nice, mate. Okay, let's see. It's like, uh, one, okay, it's like, uh, uh, you know what? I don't even have a register, man. I'll be right back. This is awesome, man. Right, so we got, like, a vase here. That's, like, $42.95 plus. No, seven. hold on. What is it, man? Oh, I forgot about the senior discount. Okay, so it's like. Excuse me? Do I look like a senior to you? Just give me these. Mm -hmm. That'll come out to 142.44. What? Oh, sorry. Senior discount. What? 134.59. Excuse me? 144.59. Decent price. Will I be credit or debit? You don't take cash? Nah, man, this is the future. Trade it. How about trade it? Take my money. Tell you what, since you're my my grandpa and stuff, I'm probably gonna be the one eating this food. I'll I'll give it to you for uh. I'll take cash. You think you're gonna be eating that? Yeah, you want it bagged? Well, yeah. There you go, man.
Love you. Oh, oh, Lou's sleeping again. Lou, I'm home from work, Lou. Ah, ah, Obama. What? I'm home. So you got a job now or what? Uh, no, I mean, they let me keep the shirt, though. I got a free shirt from it. Pretty sweaty, though. Some other guy must have been using it. Have you met Zorlov? Dude's really sweet. Gave me a bonus. Who? Before I left. Zorlov, the manager. Who's that? So who? who? Z Zorro? No. Zelda? What? Zelda? What? That's our cousin that lives on Brooklyn Lane. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm going to bed. What? When do you think you just live here now? Hey man, you can keep the shirt. James? Alan! Alan! Yes, sir? Did you hire somebody without my permission? Uh, no. Brockenstoff did. Who's Brockenstoff? He's a supervisor. But. I did you hire somebody or not? Yeah. And you were going to put all the blame on old Brock and stuff. After all he's done for this company. He has put his blood, sweat, and sometimes his saliva into this company. And its products. We are not held responsible for anyone who may be contaminated by the saliva of Brock and stuff. Why'd you hire him? He just seemed like a good fit. Oh, did he? Some vape smoking, hippie looking, barefooted freak... Seems like a good fit here at Trayton. Hey, man, he, he seems like a pretty nice guy. He's pretty nice, yeah. His grandpa was a little mean, though. Yeah, I wouldn't hang around with his grandpa too much. Stop changing the subject. You hired a guy without my permission. Alan, did you pay the power bill? That's not... Well, now the power's out. Just don't hire anybody else. We don't have the means to pay them. Gotta fire Brock and stuff tomorrow. For what? Stealing. What'd he steal? The money from the register. Mm. You see, Alan, I figured it out. You don't need customers. You just need money. The customers doesn't matter. It's the money that matters. So I've got an idea. But I'm going to need your help. Okay. Come in, Alan! Yes, sir.